Ness versus Black Suit Samus. Personally, I prefer Sexy Suit Samus, but you know, everyone, everyone has their own tastes and flavors. Oh, right now, um, as TK would say, summon Belmonting Ness on off the stage. Now, this matchup, I feel like, is interesting. But I feel like Zero Suit um, I, I don't really know. I, I kind of want to give it in Zero Suit Samus' favor, but just barely, like 55-25, I'm talking about. Maybe even 54 um, 46. To be honest with you. Although, whoever, who makes odd numbers like that. But in any case. Ooh, and I'm to it right now. I feel like both of these players, well, they made it here for a reason. He does get a very close up PK fire and then smacks it with the hand, with the bat. Alright, so right now, that's a really nice neutral game, but Pasta does end up winning it. And, uh, oh, does with the grab, but fortunately for Vince, no punish from Pasta. Right now, Vince is sitting at 92%, so he's gonna have to be careful and make sure he doesn't hit, get too many hits on Shield. Otherwise, that could be the end of his stock. Because Zero Sasama, um, which makes sense because of how agile she is, she's a very light character. In the meantime, we have, um, oh, ooh, back though, is that gonna be it? Mm, that is going to be it. From the right side of the stage, a back throw is good enough to send out. Why does Ness have such a powerful back throw? Can someone explain that to me? I understand his up air doing as much, because look at that head. What is that? I don't know. Anyway, um, but this back throw is just insane. But in any case, ooh, a way with up B. Really reading hard there. That would be good if up B could definitely bring somebody out of shield. Actually, that'd be amazing. Might, be, might make Zero Thomas a little bit broken, so. Right now, a fair from Vince is going to send this off the stage at 96%. And went for another fair, but um, luckily for Pasta, he does um, air dodge from a jump. And allows him to momentum to get back on the stage. Ooh. That cool to growl right there. I know that she, how she can just do that. Like, she just, she's just standing there, and suddenly she's doing a handstand. Her leg is spread out, and then she brings you up and just clips you into the air. Like, it's just insane how she does that. But, I mean, she's a gymnast. Yo, you think if she went to, if she represented America in the um the Olympics she get the gold? Up I feel like, I mean up till I feel like another one of those at this range, if he could just um break the buffer, that it'll be enough to What was it? It'll be enough to um take, take the KO on Ness. Oh, we got a par par paralyzer from here. Can he finally get the KO? No. Right now, Vince definitely needs to get this KO on Ness now. Ooh, that was very nice. Using the second jump with just the four momentum to get that up air kill on Pasta. Realizing that every time he went for the down throw, Pasta was DIing out the way of it. So that was really good. Uh, really nice foresight on Vince as well. We're going to see if it's going to be a... Well, right now, I feel like a single up air from Ness is definitely going to take out Ness and, uh, at this point. But then again, Ness is not rocking out with any damage. So back air, is that going to be enough? That is going to be enough. A JV2 for Pasta over Vince in the first match of winners finals. Right now, if you guys are wondering why I'm silent, it's because I am tweeting out the stream with the hashtag Philly Smash. And if you guys haven't done so yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come join, come join the um, come join the fun. Bring your friends in here as well. Let them know that we have winners finals going on here as we have a switch to Battlefield from Vince. Alright, so we have, oh, I just noticed we have a, a switch from, um, a switch from Vince from Zero to Simon to Luigi. It seems to be a better switch for him. I should probably, I don't know how to change the character zone. I, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm try to find out. Smash for you. Okay, okay, okay. I got to do it. Alright, we're figuring out, guys. We're figuring out, boys. In the meantime, while I try to get, I try to get this done for you guys. Um, we got Fire Luigi coming through. Save. There we go, Fire Luigi, we up on top. All right, so um, so we did have a character swap, and it look, it's looking a little better for Vince because Ness, um, Luigi is a character that can. Oh, 
not exactly sure what that was supposed to be, but I mean, he's able to get back in the stage to actually, thankfully, to the um, to the Get Thunder, but a back throw at that damage is definitely going to take out, and Pasta is looking very solid to be going into Grand Finals in this match. But right now, uh, it, 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 oh, we have a grab, and choosing to let, to let the pummel go just so we can have that fall off stage. He went for the one frame, but unfortunately not able to get it. Uh, we have a grab right there into a down throw. Uh, yeah, down throw. Fortunately, uh, unfortunately for Luigi main, in uh, in, in one point one, that does not combo in Luigi Cyclone anymore. So definitely gotta figure out something else you want to rock out with. <coughs> All right, so right now we have a, a, a slight pummel from him. I feel like Vince right now is just trying to figure out a solid way to get in on Ness. Because, like I said, Luigi, um, like one of the best tools against Ness, is just a grab. But unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, down throw doesn't come into a KO move anymore. So right now I feel like Vince is just trying to back up damage until he gets the same spot to really get a KO in on, uh, on Ness. He also went way with up smash, but it was shielded right on him. Uh, he shielded it, and now it's not looking good for Vince right now, who is always sitting at 89%, while Ness is at 134 with Rage. So I'm pretty sure a back throw at this point is going to be enough to take out Luigi, but he doesn't get to grab it. And we'll see what happens here. Can he, can he read it right? No. Oh, a solid back here is going to take out Ness. Vince is sitting at 89% in the second game of the set, and I believe it's going to be best 3 of 5. I believe, believe that it is a winner's finals match. Um, So um, definitely it's going to look like... Definitely looking like it's going to be um, coming down to the wire here because Vince feels, seems to be getting his stride. But <clears throat> at this point, that's all he, need, all he needs is a, is a grab. All he needs is a grab. A fireball right in Ness's face. Getting punished easy. Luigi has very good combos. That he, the moves that he can do right out of um, you know using his dare. He can go for um, a dare or a nair and an up tilt. It's really nice for him. Similar to Kirby. Right now, Vince needs to be careful and not get uh, get hit at all because... Oh, ooh, I think that's going to be it at the back throw at the 250 mark. Pasta does go up 2-1. Hmm, 2-0, 2-0. So right now, um, I believe they just agreed on the stage. We're going to see if it's going to be a character swap. Oh, but going back to Zero Suit Samus, and we have Pasta going to Peach. So we have um, Zero Suit Samus, I believe that's Black Suit, and we have Peach coming out. This is going to be interesting. I don't think I've seen Pasta and Peach yet, but Peach, in and of itself, I feel like Peach is a sleeper agent in Smash 4. As in, if more people used her, I feel like she would be able to be top 10 easy. And be able to be have, have better tournament results. Right now, with Pasta um, up 2 0, he's still comfortable enough to go Peach. We're going to see if that was a proper switch for him. One of the best um, tools about Peach is the fact that she still retains her her Super Mario Brothers 2 physics, where you know she could just float. And then she has that. I want you guys to know, until Smash 4, I didn't know that she slapped you with her crown. I thought that she was just like gearing up a very powerful smack. I didn't know that she took her crown off her head and smacked you with it. Like, it's so insane. Like, just think about that in slow motion. It's just like, you about to get it now. There it is. But in any case, um, ooh, definitely avoiding it right now. I feel like um, Peach definitely has the aerial mobility. To just avoid a lot of the aerial attacks that Zilsa is going to want to do. <clears throat> Ooh, uh, oh, I feel like he would have reversed that. It definitely been a, would have been a KO on Peach. But it's definitely looking better for um, Vince right now. Uh, right now, Peach is sitting at 118%. I feel like an up B from this range, even from the ground, will be able to KO Peach on Town City. Definitely just playing a really nice spacing game, trying to see if Pasta will want to come in for anything. Zero Simons or any character with a really solid move like that can just play a spacious game and hit with a solid move if the opportunity does arise. Vince is sitting at 179, uh, 79%, 179, wow, almost uh, 79%, which means, oh, wait a minute, we'll go for the upgrade. Now, up air definitely would have taken that out at that range, but fortunately, uh, Blazing Pasta was able to air dodge from it. De definitely um, trying to find an opportunity, a side B coming out of nowhere, ended up catching him with a very awkward um, turn up, but it's just enough, we have a uh, grab. All right, not yet, the damage is definitely putting Pasta 
She's right out of range of getting caught by Joshua Thomas up there from that. So right now, Vince is really fighting for that KO. It's already being sent up to 112, 119%. But Pasta gets a down tilt, and then the up B. What in the world? God dang, that's a, literally the first time I've seen that. That was very powerful. So Vince is now sitting there after looking really good at the beginning of this match. Is now down a stock, even though Pasta is sitting at 174%. So I feel like a really well, a really well placed up B, or even a side smash would be enough. Or even a forward air, or even a back air would be enough to take out B. But it's all the opportunity. It's all about if Pasta will give Vince the opportunity to do so. But right now, that that KO, I'm I'm still flabbergasted by. I am literally knocked out of my own chair. <laughs> All right, so it ends up going for it. Once again, the air dodge is enough to come through. I feel like I feel like Vince just has um has to play ahead of Pasta. Pasta is playing a very solid game. He now has to play ahead of get ahead of his opponent uh, in order to get this KO. And right now, Peach is sitting at a uh, Peach is sitting at 70, 174 percent. That just goes to show you the amazing game that Pasta is playing right now and not giving his opponent the opportunity to KO. He is throwing out hit boxes every single opportunity that he has, and not and Vince is having a hard time really getting inside of it right now. Right now we're gonna see exactly. Holy oh, crap! Okay. All right, we have um, a side B on shield. Vince is still looking for that KO. A, a back air. A back air is enough, but is it is it is it little too late? Is it little too late? Because Vince is sitting at 128.26 percent. That side B came out sideways. Not, ooh. And there it is, a 3-0 victory from Pasta takes him to Grand Finals. And we will be seeing Vince in um, the Bottom Bracket Finals. We will be seeing him in Bottom Bracket Finals, but that was in... in